fellow Queenslanders, Andrew Fraser and Anna Bly owe Queenslanders an apology. Not the smug performance we've all just witnessed with Labor members high-fiving and back-slapping each other. We've got record debt, the biggest in the nation, and Labor admitted today that instead of paying off the record debt, they've actually added another $9 billion. That's now $18,772 in debt for every man, woman and child in Queensland. Could you put another $18,000 on your credit card? No. Well, Labor just put it there for you. And what's worse, even though Labor has seen Queensland stripped of its AAA credit rating, there is still no debt repayment strategy. Like a lot of Queenslanders, I had hoped that in today's state budget, Anna Bly and Labor would finally listen. But instead of listening, Labor has announced they will move full steam ahead with privatisation, selling off $15 billion in assets that belong to taxpayers. And Kevin Rudd? Well, he's refusing to lift a finger to stop it. We all know the Bly Labor government has repeatedly lied and let down Queenslanders, and this budget is no different to the rest. Sure, behind all the debt and privatisation, there are some good announcements. But how do we know what we can and can't believe anymore from Ms Bly and Labor? This was a chance for Labor to do something positive, a chance for Labor to take a leaf out of the LNP's book. They could have adopted the LNP's policy to stop privatisation. They could have adopted the LNP's policy to have a debt reduction strategy. They could have adopted the LNP's policy to oppose the super tax on mining. And Labor could have followed the LNP's policies to provide relief for families struggling with the increased costs of living. But we got none of that. The smug look on the Treasurer's face says it all. Andrew Fraser clearly thinks that selling the assets that Queensland will need to ensure our long-term prosperity is somehow clever. Reducing the net worth of our state is not clever. Losing control of our ports and rail will prove to be very, very foolish in the long term. These assets are not being sold to reinvest in our future. They're being sold to repay the debt accrued over the past decade due to Labor's financial incompetence. It is clear that Labor has nothing to be smug about. 